democracy that? Well, look at demo. It's an end short of being demon. Demonic. Demon I see. You look at the word demos and you see demo, demon, demigod, all things that aren't cool. Now, it says this phrase is used to characterize an officer. So look at the words, off, ice, and are. A government, a past action, or a state of affairs that must be accepted for all, practice, all practical purposes, but is illegal or illegitimate. So the all the government, unless you are not a person, which I am not, so I don't care whether these people are illegitimate or not, they're telling us these people are a bunch of frauds right here. And it says, we're going to go over this once again, thus an office, position, or status, sorry, as a past action or a state of affairs that must be accepted for all practical purposes, but is illegal or illegitimate. Thus an office, position, or status existing under a claim of or color of right, such as de facto corporation. In this sense, it is the contrary of de jure, which means rightful, legitimate, just, or constitutional. Thus an officer, king, or government de facto is one that is in actual possession of the officer, supreme power, but by usurpation. These people have taken everything over by force and they will use the police to enforce their laws or without lawful title. So, but by usurpation and without lawful title. Well, an officer, king, or governor de jure is one who has just claimed and rightful title to the office or power, but has never had plenary possession of it. So what they're saying here is if this was de jure, they were actually protecting you and they don't want plenary possession of your property because they know it's yours. Now, so, or is not in actual possession. A wife, a de facto, okay, whatever. Who gives a shit? So a de facto corporation is one that has been given legal status despite the fact that it has not complied with all the statutal, statutal uh, story formalities, formal ties required for corporate existence. Look at the words. Do you want to exist? X is bad people. No, you don't want to subsist, you don't want to exist, you just want to be. It's like people are trying to run, make, uh, making a living, and they forgot that they are a living. So, again, people, these people, de facto corporation is one that's been given legal status despite the fact it has not complied with all the statutory formalities required for the corporate existence. So what does that tell you? This whole government here is a fraud, and that's why I don't deal with them. I just use them to say, listen, you guys are the witness, I'm no longer a Canadian. So anyhow, people, all this bullshit going on, and I mean, this is, uh, judges know this, most of them do, anyhow. But even in the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, and I don't know why, they're changing all this stuff up every time I go from site to site. But it used to start off that they recognize the supremacy of God and the rule of law, which is common law. So all this, if you apply for a person, it's common law. Okay, people, if you're not a person, well, then it's still common law, but it's common to them that you are not a person and that they have, as we've established, they can only concern themselves with fictions. I mean, it says right there, uh, blah, 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 blah. You know, governments can only interact with fictions right there, straight from a federal district Supreme Court judge's mouth in the States. And again, back to means versus means. He says, if you don't want to be a Canadian, and I mean, back to all this bullshit. It says, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms guarantees the rights and freedoms set out in it, subject only to such reasonable limits as prescribed, prescripted by law. Whoever buys the laws makes the laws, such as laid law. We've established that, as can be demonstrably demons justified in a free demo, democratic society. Then it goes on. In the other charters and they're kind of switching stuff up so people aren't seeing this and it says that you have the right in the Charter of Rights and Freedoms to the fundamental enjoyment uh, right of property so you can pay all the funds to the enjoyment of property but you cannot own anything in a democratic society so why are people running around going out and buying houses and thinking that they own them a let's clarify things people if you own something you don't owe a cent on it. 
God, the creator has, ne for a cosmic term, the creator has never charged you anything in your life, and we're so fucked up and god darn stupid that we say, oh, we want to pay for our water. We want to pay for our electricity. We want to pay for all the things that the government has given to us, and then we say, no, yeah, we're going to join this society. So see I tie, and we're going to be tied to a society that is going to make you pay. Birds and bees don't pay taxes, people. And this is no disrespect to these people. I mean, if these people want to fly with the devil, take the e out and you have, uh, d out and you have evil if they want to fly with the devil by all means that's their choice of free will this is not to discourage disparage put down anybody i'm just stating the facts because i'm tired of all these people running around applying to state that they're creating a legal identity for a birth certificate and then they're going to court they haven't revoked things properly with certificates as we've seen everything's certificated 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 and they're all going to jail I mean, people, how stupid can you get? So if you can only have the fundamental right to justice, to just ice, because they're all, they all work in offices, off ice, because they're, they're not even players on the ice, because they're all dead. They're slaves. Even the police, even the judge, I don't care who it is, though, even Stephen Harper, he's a slave. And this is no disrespect to the guy. I mean, he's just doing what he thinks he's doing. But I wouldn't be surprised if he's doing what he's doing because he knows that if he doesn't be a good puppet, people will extort him. And extortion is a very, very key word when you're a slave of subject status, okay, people? So the bottom line is, these people are just puppets. And even in the definition of slave, it says a person who is the property of another, the head of a party, and consequently the slave of a party. So even the head of a party, like Barack Obama, He's just a slave of subject status. That's all it is. Now he think they all think they're higher up on the on the totem pole. And let me tell you, people, they're all just slaves to their own subservience. So, the, and it goes on to say that if you have the fundamental right to to uh, to property and and justice, well, if you don't have those funds, you can't have those rights. So why would you pay for a right? where God has already given you grace, but we say, no, now we want to pay for rights and freedoms. I'm sorry, people. I look at the word freedom and I see freedom. Dumb. D-U-M-B. Okay. If you think you're free and you want to be dumb to be free with all these rights that come from man, well, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get a prison sentence. Okay. So all these people going into court as a person, They've stated that their person through the Ontario birth certificate site, whatever site, the Alberta site, I don't care. And then they're going to court and they're going, well, I'm not a person, I'm sorry. Even in their world of fraud, you're trying to fraud them. Back in common law days, and then you're going in claiming common law, they'd decapitate your head. And people, if you think common law doesn't involve slaves, oh my God, this whole thing, people, is slavery, slavery, slavery. And it was okay to own slaves. So then you're going into court going, oh, well, I claim common law. So basically you're saying it's okay to own slaves. I'm sorry, people. You know, I'm just discouraged and disparaged. Like, it doesn't make me upset or mad or anything. I just can't believe the stupidity of people wanting to run around and listen to these gurus, these take the geo, you are yous, who want to charge them for the truth when the truth is sitting right here. Even yesterday on Facebook, oh, well, I can't go anywhere. I have no ID. I don't have a passport. You don't need passports to travel, people. People have been traveling for years with pa without passports. And even though this says here, world passport, basically, I don't even need this. If I wasn't a Canadian, all I need, and I know this for a fact, is the statement of live birth from the Attorney General's Office of Ontario, and because I revoked my citizenship, this is proof of them acknowledging that indeed there was a baby that was born, and here I am. This has nothing to do with ownership, but the minute you apply for that birth certificate, you fall under the subject matter of all legislation. So don't you think you're gonna travel, or don't you think with a, with a birth certificate, you must give all that slavery status up, okay, people? Even look at the words ownership, okay? Look at the word own. Take the N out, what do you have? Oh, so if you think you own your house and you're still paying taxes and you're paying mortgages, and look at the word mort, comes from moratorium, mort, death. It's, it's a death pledge. I mean, people, you know... Like, things couldn't be simpler. And even here, right at the top, it says, whereas Canada is founded upon the principles, princes, okay, it's all royalty here, people, that recognize the supremacy of God and the rule of law. 
how can how can they recognize the supremacy of God if you don't want to recognize the supremacy of God by stating that you now want to fall under the rule of law and become a subject which is a person which is a citizen which is a taxpayer take the tea out you have taxpayer and and even then you're a pagan this whole thing is a coat of arms. I mean, look at McDonald's. It's a coat of arms. Look at Shell. Take the S out. You have hell. It's a coat of arms. Look at the words diesel, die, sell, die, L. Village, take the V out. V, ill, age, right? Management. Of course, you're going to get old living in a village, right? And then you're going to a pharmacy. Take the P out and you have harm at C. Pharmacy. And they're all, buy, all buying pills. And you take the P out and you have ills. And then they're going to wars to kill and then they want to call themselves Christian well I'm sorry but nowhere did the, in the Second Testament did the leader ever run around and suggest that people pick up arms okay people so I'm not getting all biblical here I'm just gonna stay on the God never asked you to sign up to create a legal identity to state that you are a person so if you state that you're a person obviously they can't recognize the supremacy of God because you're not even willing to recognize it because you're stating that you're a pagan a person a debtor a tax paying slave who wants to fall under the rule of of law which is common law even you know like all these people they're running around they don't even know what they're talking about you know they're talking about Dean Clifford Mary Elizabeth Croft here uh, you know all kinds of things and these persons employ a collection of techniques and arguments pro promoted and sold by gurus to disrupt court operations look at the words O per rate ion so it's all about the money. That's when they say they're looking for the change. Of course they're looking for change. They want the change out of your wallet. So people, I can't make this stuff up. Okay, people. So even this, whoever wrote this article is blatantly lying. And they know it. And I mean, hey, it's a half-truth. If they want to uh, provide half-truths, which are not the whole truth, that's why lawyers stand on your behalf. They can't stand on the whole truth and on your full, on your whole, because they're not inside of your body. That's why, and that's why they represent your half. They can only represent your half because they can't represent the whole truth, nothing but the truth, because they're not in your body. And even the lawyers know it, you know? And lawyers don't work for you. It's corpus juris secundum, and they work for the bar. And their first and foremost priority is to the court, and that's it, that's all. They even go on here, the Freeman position is not entirely lacking in moral uh, force. Considering government created law to uh, be a damnable imposition is a defensible stance with a long and respectable history. But their theory of the world is utterly spurious, and, and their practical approach is made entirely of magic beans and crack. So, you know, they go on, uh, Freeman methods fail to understand that the law derives its authority from the fact that the state has the means and the will to use force to impose it. People, these people have guns and tanks. So if you want to fight with these people and sue these people, I'm sorry, they're going to cart you off to a mental institution. And don't worry, they will enforce their force on you. Hence, that's why they're called law enforcers. And why do these law enforcers carry guns? Because people run around with a surname, which is a pagan name, which is a coat of arms, which says, hey, I'll go to war and kill my neighbor. That's exactly what a surname, take the S out, you are name means. They say they have an obsession with, with, with common law, which normally refers to what is known as case law. So you're going to go up and use case law to state that you're a slave, even here. I'm, I used case law here, but I wasn't using case law for me. I was using it for these people so they would know that all governments can only interact with fiction, and I'm not a dead corporate fiction. All these free men, they have never submitted their papers and did this properly. Otherwise, I mean, they wouldn't be going to jail. So obviously, they're running around, they're acting as terrorists, you know, with an anti-government and anti-corporate sentiments, and Freeman often try to escape tax and debt repayment. A, people, if you owe these monkeys money, pay them, then say, I'm not a Canadian. So, you know, this whole thing, this whole thing is just preposterous, you know. Even here, once again, Freeman have an obsession with common law, which normally refers to what is known as case law. So you want to use somebody else's case, maybe that'll make you a basket case. I'm sorry, people, okay. Even here, it says, Freeman believed that an individual has two personas. One of them is a physical, tangible human being, 
human refers to a color of man, a slave, right, who can have rights, but no rights bestowed upon them. And the other is their legal person. Again, people, if you apply to state that you're this person, you've now become this straw man. There's not two of yous. There's one of yous, and that's why when the cops come, they're arresting you and not the paper. Okay, so people, drop that shit. Tangible human being, the other is a legal person, personality, or straw man. A legal fiction created with a birth certificate. That's actually right. Even in the Ontario uh, birth certificate, it says, why? Uh, what is an Ontario birth certificate for? And it used to state that it was used to create a legal identity. Now, there wasn't enough of you that you had to become so fake that you needed to create a legal identity slash fiction. Fiction? You have to have rocks in your head, people. Legal fiction created when a birth certificate is filed with what would normally be considered somebody's name, John Smith, capitalization being a particular obsession. They believe the birth certificate is their legal person. It's not their legal person. That legal person belongs to the government of Canada. So why are you using something that doesn't belong to you? That's my question. That's fraud. And will attempt to present in a court when, set, when said person is called for rather than identifying themselves as that person. So there you go. They've applied to be that person. Now they're saying they're not that person even in their world and Canada's world. That's fraud. Although Canada deals with fraud and all the other governments. They love that stuff. That's how they take your property. Freeman believed that all legal actions, restrictions, and statutes can only be applied to their legal personality. Okay, people, if you sign up to state that you're this legal identity who now has a legal person, person all I tie, you've been tied to it. I'm sorry, people. By separating themselves from their legal person, they can free themselves of having to abide by statute laws they don't like. Hey, if you don't like the laws, you come back here and you state that I'm sorry, I am not a Canadian, even in Meads versus Meads. The judge says if you don't like Canada, all you have to do is not be a Canadian. What he fails to tell you because he wants to see you go to jail, which is good for business, is that you better have this shit notarized. And then they go on in that site to say, oh, these people thinking the, uh, that if they get something notarized, well, it carries clout. Well, I'll tell you, people, if this, if these documents don't carry clout, then basically Canada would be admitting to me because I don't partake in their system of fraud. They would be saying that basically their whole system is shit. So when they go on to say, if I can find this, a notice of understanding and intent and claim a right is a made-up pseudological document. Well, aren't these all made up documents? I guess wouldn't these all be pseudological even if this wasn't my document and this is just Canada's document like this. Isn't this all made up pseudological bullshit? Isn't that all it is? This is my handwriting, not an ounce of it, people. This is their shit. So if they're going to say that these people who think these notaries and don't do anything, well, then obviously Canada might as well say our whole system is shit and don't bother being a Canadian to begin with because our system is shit and we're a bunch of frauds. Fraudulent. Fraud. You lent, lent to some fraud, did you? So, pseudological document Freeman is uh, using an attempt to declare a sovereignty. A, why would you want to declare that you're sovereign? You know what sovereign is, people? Sovereign refers to a group or a body of uh, uh, political members, a body politic. I am not a body politic. I'm not a member of Canada, so why would I declare a sovereignty? It's preposterous. You uh, so, American Freeman generally use the term affidavit of truth to describe this document, right? They will sign such documents, sometimes with a notary, and then send it to the Queen, and sometimes various other figures, such as the Prime Minister and police chiefs. Absolutely. Look up my file, where I have a, uh, where I have a, a call with uh, Buddy, uh, Mr. Pringle, I believe, from the... Uh, the uh the the police the, the nice guy that's awesome you know like you want to work with these people okay that's that's the only reason why i did this like if they come up and they start going who are you well i have to let them know that i am i have no contracts with these people i am not a person there's no contracts there's no statutory consent so therefore i'm all right and it says they will sign sometimes with a notary and then send it to the Queen, figures as the Prime Minister and police. It usually consists of a series of lines beginning where it is. It is my understanding followed by an ass, ass, assertion which is unique or completely illogical. Various parts will state their bizarre interpretation of the law and understanding that they do not consent to it. They, they are typically much like this example. Then they go on to say a fee schedule. I'm not out to charge anybody, people. I couldn't give a shit. I did that. I taking somebody to court is a war like it's a war like endeavor. And I'm sorry, I just don't want their money. I I don't even want to put you Canadians in debt. You Canadians, the one who runs around with the most possessions, and look at the term possessed. You'll be possessed by b u y your possessions. Take the y out. Our possessions, which thus becomes the government of Canada's, because people live in a democratic society. And basically, democratic. Democratic works like this. We're all at a party. 
Everybody says they want pizza, but you don't want pizza. You want spaghetti. And everybody's like, you come out of the washroom to find out they bought you all pizza. And it's like, oh, well, I wanted spaghetti. It's like, oh, sorry, man, that's de that's democracy for you. You don't like it, you can go to jail. Oh, you don't like it, you're not getting uh, you're not getting uh, spaghetti. You're going to get uh, craft dinner today because everybody else is having craft dinner. Then they're going on to say the Magna Carta. I'll be honest with you, people. The Magna Carta, that whole thing, that's a bullshit slavery document, too. And look at the words, barons, bar and on. And the bar is to prevent the slaves from crossing it. And I'm sorry, but citizens slash persons, we've established their slaves. Then it says here, contracts and statutes. Because of their conception of common law as the only true law, which it's not, divine law, which is the creator's law, not man-made law, is the only true law out there. Freeman believed that any laws made by the government are not laws. Well, obviously, if you agree and consent to this being a law, well, then it's a law. But if you don't consent, you don't agree, and you say that you're not a Canadian, like I did, and I'm not an employee of Canada, like, what I don't understand is why people, too, sign up for to create legal identities to state that they're this person and pay taxes when they're they're basically effectively stating that they are now government employees. Why would you state that you're a government employee when you don't work for the government of Canada, but yet you're going to state that you're now a government employee and that you want to pay taxes and you don't even work for the government? So this all this bullshit, like people running around going, we the people, I'm sorry, people, people, we the people, I am part of the people, okay? I don't like these titles, whatever, but I am not a citizen of subject slash slavery status, right? So it's just that simple, people. So I am we the people, and we the people were supposed to govern the government and tell them what to do. You weren't supposed to let your government run rampant and tell you what to do. And here's the question, who does the law start with? It starts with you. So if you don't want the law starting with you, well, then you shouldn't be electing these officials to do whatever they want to you. It was supposed to be you would tell that you would drive the government, you would tell the government what to do, and all these ball laws, rules, regs, and stats would only apply to the government. A woman even said, <coughs> excuse me, she said to Ronald Reagan, Ronnie there many years ago, she said, Ronnie, why do we pay taxes when we don't work for the government? You know what he said to her? That's a good question. In other words, why would you sign up and apply for a birth certificate to state that you're this person in an SS card, Nazi Germany maybe, or SIN, social insurance number, to state that you're that person and that you're now a government employee when you don't even work for the government? That's fraud. You should have never came up and touched a person who is not yours. That's fraud. So, legalese notices. Those issued by courts, the police, or some government agencies are supposedly written in legalese, but we've established legal refers to prostitution. So the whole thing is a form of horror, if that can be such a word. The deliberately deceptive technical jargon language of a company called the Law Society. They claim that legalese uh, looks like English and use English words, but is not English, for instance. Freeman assert that the word must is, le is in legalese is synonymous with may in English. Summons means invitation demand means offer well let's look at demand nowhere does that say offer d and man so if you were commanding your ship you would be on that ship and you would be driving it but you're demanding your ship so if you demand your ship and apply for a person this judge will administrate whatever it is whether you say yay or nay because you've consented to be a slave and understand as in do you understand means stand under and as a, you know accept the terms demonstrably incorrect uh, you know now they're just babbling and babbling and there's somewhere to Freeman will also attempt to put the judge on oath to force them in accordance with common law which entails asking to see his evidence of oath if you want to see their evidence of oath just go to the Attorney General's office people I, I mean Jesus Murphy's people <clears throat> that shit crazy judges typically give short uh Oh, shrift, whatever that means, to this kind of request, and either adjourn the hearing or threaten the freeman with contempt of court. The freeman might ask whether the judge means civil or criminal. This is because the freeman believe that civil contempt would come under admiralty law and therefore require a consensual contract. Well, obviously it does. And the criminal contempt would require a victim. Okay, people, if you apply to state that you're a Canadian, uh, they don't deal in the law. 
They don't. They tell you they don't deal in the law. You can have fundamental justice. So if you have the funds or the fundamental right to property. So again, if you have the funds to fund a man, fund men to buy property that you don't even own, you have to be a fool. Then they're into the Sescovy Act and the government and all this shit and the birth certificate to create a straw man and a legal person. Absolutely. And they're right. So why these people are even saying here, and then they're saying Freeman successes, none, you know, and I'm sorry, and you know why people, because these people have never had it certified that they are not Canadians or Americans or Australians or Indians. I mean, look at Gandhi. That's what Gandhi did. Gandhi burnt the birth certificate, the uh, subject citizenship card, and that's why they originally arrested him. Okay, people. So that goes to tell you that if it wasn't Gandhi's property, he should have just gave it back, had it notarized, and said, there, bye. And that would have started the revolution. So I'm going to wrap this up. Anybody who says, and I don't care if it's government employees, like when I went to court, okay, the judge started pulling this, oh, well, that'll be civil contempt of court. I said, how will that be civil contempt of court? Oh, well, if I don't get a name out of you, you know what I said? The name's on your desk, sir. There it is. There's your name. He goes, well, we're going to proceed. I said, okay, whatever. Then he goes, oh, well, you know, uh, yeah. and I just looked at him and I said, sir, everything you construe here is fraud. I'm not a Canadian and I am not an employee on your ship. And I said, if you want to misconstrue, which is fraudulent, lent to some fraud, did you? I said, that's fine. You can do whatever you want in your world because your world is dead. I said, in my world, I'm alive and well. Here I am in the flesh. I've stated and that government, that government, Court of Queen's Bench, which had the federal jurisdiction to deal with the federal matter. All these people are running up going, well, I have Charter of Rights issues. And then you're trying to run that through a provincial court. You have to have rocks in your head, people. I live this stuff. And there's a difference between living and knowing. It's like going to school to become a mechanic. You've never worked on a car. You have an idea what's going on, but you've never worked on a car. So do you have experience as a, as a car mechanic? Obviously not. I mean, if you snap a bolt, do you know how to tap it and drill it and reset it? Obviously, probably not, because you've never worked on that car. And there's a difference between living this stuff and talking shit. And all these people out there, I'm sorry, but unless I see proof from them, they're, they're all talking shit. Even the government's talking shit with all this stuff, you know? And who cares if these people got arrested and stopped and whatever? You know, the bottom line is, people, like, I'm sorry, but... I don't know. Personally, I respect these people because these people have guns and tanks and I have nothing against them. I don't even care what the government of Canada does. I don't even care if they want to bash your face in because if you've agreed to have your, bash, your face bashed in, well, why do you think the cop has a license to bash your face in, tase your face, shoot you, and have a color of law to get off scot-free? Like, you people better really wake up here. Myself, that's up to you. If that's how you want to be loved is by paying for somebody to tase you, whether you're right or wrong, well, that's what you get. But they cannot recognize the supremacy of God if you're not willing to recognize the supremacy of God. It's just that simple. So, anyhow, people, you know, I could babble for hours. I'd actually like to help more people, but I'll be honest with you, I think people are batshit crazy and they really don't want help. And the ones who are looking for help are too scared to do it themselves and they're looking for something outside of themselves. And that's where I can only offer you guys guidance. I don't help anybody anymore as that would be very unloving for me to do what you're supposed to be doing, not what I'm supposed to be doing, what you're supposed to be doing. And the answers are within yourselves, people. Like all these people, they're going, oh, well, I can't travel and I can't go overseas. Well, I'm sorry, man, but I prove it all. Just type in Red Seal, notaries, whatever, and they'll tell you. You take one of these, you send it to the Mexican or Chinese consulate embassy, and they will draw up a legal document if they don't mind having you in their country. And that's it. That's all. Whether you can come back in if they don't want to acknowledge their own shit, because these people, I mean... But I'll be honest with you, so far, people, I have a lot of respect for the government of Canada. They have left me alone. They have not hassled me. The couple of times I have had a couple of instances, um, I won't call them run-ins, uh, occurrences, I guess, with the police. They've been overly respectful to me. They've been nice to me. And why? Because I'm not a slave of subject status. Okay, so if anybody were to do any wrong to me, now you're doing an act to the supremacy of God. And let me tell you something, people, the G-O-D or the creator word scares the fucking snot out of people.
Okay, but again, if you agree to be a person, well, it's not going to scare them when the cop has a license to agree to tase you or shoot you or throw you in jail. And then they're all running around going, but, 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 but I have rights. Well, rights come from men and obviously you can be thrown in jail. The grace comes from the creator and I'm sorry, but the creator ain't going to throw you in jail. Even if you want to do nasty deeds out there, the creator is not going to punish you. The creator will allow you to punish yourself. But the creator, the father, take the F out at her. She is not that foolish. Okay. And then people run around going, well, why does the creator allow wars? Well, the creator is allowing you to do whatever you do because she, the creator loves you that much to allow you to do it. But man, oh, that's not the way man works, you know. And so what you do, you're effectively doing to yourself. And it's the same with all these, this Constitution Act. Look at the words, cons, tie, you, ion. Oh my God, people. Like, you know, words started with a letter, you know, <laughs> right? And obviously in words, you have several words, you know, even Canadian, 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 right? Like people, come on. You are not meant to be a Canadian. You are not meant to be Chinese. You are not 